What do you do if you have trouble accepting sex, even if someone else initiates it and you really want it? I'm here with Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. And I'm Kathy Bertoli from intimacydojo.com. Read that again. What do you do if you have trouble accepting sex, even if someone else offers or initiates it? Thank you. And you um, want it. And you want it. You have trouble accepting sex. Yeah, you have trouble saying yes. You feel scared or even nervous. Even when you or, are yes. Yeah. Okay. You may be a yes inside. You want to say yes, but you're like, ah. I mean, they didn't use that word, ah, mm -hmm. but like they're 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 saying they have trouble accepting sex um, from people they're connected with. They're just like don't know how to move forward. They don't. They feel afraid. Okay. Um. Well, I would want to ask a bunch more questions about what what's the not not even the block because again, like in the self help world, every everything's a block, and which means there's a solution to the block. Yeah. Um. And I don't think that that's. Well, like, the, the way they shared, it sounds like I'm just interpreting and reading between the lines, but it sounds almost like there's a freeze response when someone initiates or offers sex. Mm -hmm. um, and I think humans do. Like, we, we often fight, fight, freeze. Our primitive brain goes, ah, I don't know what to do, um, and runs away or pulls away or rejects something that feels mm -hmm. scary. Maybe, uh, do you feel mm -hmm. like you know how to take the next step? Do you feel like you're you know sexual skills that a, a class, a video class, or an in-person class could help with. Um, what is the fear or block or resistance around saying yes, please? Yeah, there's some, it feels like there's something else going on. Or not going on, but like I'm like, oh, um, there's an opportunity here to have a really interesting answer. Mm -hmm. um, to, one, make somebody feel like they're not bro broken. Yeah. Right? Because they're in the sex geek world, there's a certain kind of like literacy that can make the illiterate feel broken, yeah. and that's not actually true. Like, like you're not broken. Yeah. Um. So if you don't have your words to say yes, but you know you are a yes, could you just say, "Hey, I'm feeling really nervous about this," or? I would, I'm very interested and I'm feeling scared or I'm, I'm not sure how to go forward or how, where do we start? Yeah. I mean, if, if you're a yes, then, I mean, again, like this is just, I wish we could talk Ask to the question. Yeah. Um, if this is you, leave more details below. Yeah, if you feel comfortable, you can, you can um, private message us or email. Yeah. So, so not knowing this person and not knowing more of the situation, um, if, you want to tell the other person yes, but you don't know how to, then can you, in a non-sexual situation, show them this video and then be like, and then come up with a, a clever, fun, playful solution. So maybe when they check in with you, may I start having sex with you now? Mm -hmm. and, and you're like... <laughs> Like one thumb means slow down, two thumbs mean keep going. Yeah. Um, that means halt. <laughs> um, but like, can you come up with a way to communicate? And then what do you know about yourself that allows you to feel comfortable proceeding? Yeah. Um, and this is all based on the fact that your yes is, is accurate. Like you know yourself well enough to know well, like, yes, I would like to have sex. I can, I can relate to this because there's times when I've been a, a hell yes with a person, but if I'm not already turned on a little bit, mm -hmm. all my awkwardness and, and shyness comes up and I'm just like, ah, and I will sometimes sabotage the situation. So like so, if you cuddled for and made yeah. out for 15 minutes, that would help oh my God. melt that? Yeah. Okay. Totally. Um, so if I'm, if I'm feeling physically like more touch, more little turn on, mm -hmm. absolutely help. And I've, I've had that when lovers come over, I'm like, I am not feeling it right now. I know I want to have sex with you, but I'm not feeling it. Can we cuddle for 10, 15 minutes? And that often... So like the foreplay to get to the foreplay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm wondering like if that's something, if someone initiates, say, would it help to say, hey, I, I... My, my body is a yes. My brain is feeling a little bit nervous. Can we cuddle and like talk about what it might like be might be like or talk about mm -hmm. boundaries or have the safe safer sex conversation while we're cuddling? Well, I mean, I'm kind of assuming, and this is maybe this is my bad, that 
that when it's not the actual it's about to happen situation mm. they could have all of these negotiations and conversations mm. ahead of time but it's the it's happening and I don't know how to yeah to give a thumbs up right yeah. um, and so if you're with somebody who's savvy they're gonna read rightfully so I think your hesitation as I shouldn't proceed right versus your, like your inability to communicate a yes clearly as I shouldn't proceed right so which it may not be because I know like some of some people I hang out with are very much like I want to have sex let's do it now and I'm like I need to cuddle like mm-hmm. I need to kind of get in the water slowly um, I don't want to just dive in the deep end mm-hmm. and there's some people that are like okay pants down let's go um, and I think people, it's okay I used to think I was broken because all my friends were like yeah let's go for it and I'm like I need some sweet talk first um, so no, maybe looking at what you need and asking for that. If someone initiates, like, yeah, but I need to, I need this first, or I need you know I would be mm-hmm. I'll have a lot better time if I do this first. Yeah, that's not what I, that's what, I mean. Yeah, oh. it's 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 a it's a short share, but it feels to me like they're asking for something else. It's like how do I find my words? Yeah. When I already know I'm a yes, um, and this is where I would ask more questions, but at the same time, like. What what can you communicate or install in the the relationship when you're not having sex mm-hmm. for when to deal with this very particular situation? Yeah. Um, and without more information, it's hard to give more um, advice mm-hmm. uh, specific. Um, but yeah, what do you all think? Yeah, and if you, this was you, please leave us more information. We'd we'll be glad to try it out. Leave comments below. Thanks. <laughs>